we want to show you how Excel VBA can be used to simplify the Excel function. Our Excel expression, this is a little more complicated. For example, we take the EMA. EMA is the we call exponential moving average. Uh, it's a type of weighted average, usually used in price because uh, you want to be the more current price to be weighted more. The first EMA is SMA, but the next EMA will be uh, based on today's price and yes EMA so that it means that the yes today's price is weighted more than the distant past and the beta the weighting is proportional uh, is depend on days two over n plus one n is number of days you want to do and the standard expression we have is um, n and calculate beta which is uh, two over uh, b1 plus one and then EMA calculates average of the past five day price. Then the first EMA will be B2 the beta times today's price B9 plus one minus B2, which is beta again, times yesterday EMA and you copy down, then you're done. So let's do it in Excel. So with Excel spreadsheet, we have beta of N and beta is uh, two over B1 plus one. Okay. And then now we want the first Five day EM, EMA is the SMA, so it's average the first five days. Okay. And then what we want to do is look at the beta today's price. We want to keep it the same, so we have to use the uh, absolute value times today's price plus one minus beta again, absolute value, because this beta keep unchanged across the formula. And yesterday EMA. So this is the first EMA. Click on it. Go to the right hand corner. Double click. Then give you uh, the EMA for the rest given all the prices. So this is how you do Excel spreadsheet. But you can see this formula. Looks easy but uh, it's not easy to check whether this formula is correct or not. So the easiest is to replace all this formula by VBA function so that uh, you only need to check one function and you are done. How to do it? Let's look at the slide again. So we have a format function called EMA. You will take three inputs EMA yesterday, uh, price of today, and N. Uh, we take beta because N can be calculated directly by 2 over N plus 1. And then we have a beta times price, one minus beta times as a EMA. And then once you have this, the formula is very simple. You can see the Excel spreadsheet is average here. And EMA yesterday, EMA, today's price, and N, and un remain unchanged. You can see I don't need the beta called beta row. So let's uh, go to the Excel spreadsheet again. So um, let's go to the developer ribbon and Excel uh, be so basic. Here I have the model here in the spreadsheet already uh, have the things I want. Okay, so make sure that this in the module, insert module, put in the place you want. Go back to here. Let's input a uh, row here, which I call uh, EMA and and based on VBA. Okay. Again, the first thing is same average of first three-day price and then I want a EMA okay, based on just a EMA today's price which keep on changing when I move out so that's why it's relative address and then I want the N which is uh, keep unchanged throughout the formula so I put F4 here make it absolute address and close bracket okay and then I want to double kick it then you can check the left hand side right hand side all the same so confirming this formula is correct so uh, you can see the formula actually is easier than look at this one and you need to go back to the Excel VBA and see whether this formula is correct and as usually we want to show it is correct by it's building the same column in the Excel spreadsheet confirming everything is alright then you are done so here is you can see how Excel VBA function uh, it's good to simplify your code.
in terms of debugging. Thank you for listening.